Two brooms at once, double trouble. Trail report, we're out here. I still can't hear out of my right ear still. It is currently Friday, January 5th. Uh, Happy New Year's, by the way. Had a great New Year's. It is also most likely the reason that I caught a cold. Crowded space, I wonder why. Happy New Year! Woo! Had an awesome night, though. It was great to see everybody. I'm going to try my best to not sound like a stuffy idiot this episode. You know what? We just got to go be a man about it. I'm going to go take some quill quick. What's this bottle say? PMs? Just kidding though, guys. Anyways, it has been just crazy with the weather. 40 degrees. I, you already heard from my last video, this weather has been the worst start to a season and I'm 29 years old in my entire life that I can at least remember. Same with the pop, same with everybody. We are just not off to a good start, so we gotta make do with what we got. We got all that rain last week. It has been below freezing for five straight days and the lake still had not frozen over, but luckily um, we had some shoreline. It was just, you know, open patches out towards the middle. And then last night it was single digits and finally covered the lake. Grab this from the shed, putting that in here to warm up for a second because we got the heated shop. Oh, hi, you two. Got the handy dandy ax. Oh, nice and black ice. Okay, that was about three to four inches, somewhere in there. So, enough to walk on. Believe it or not, guys, snow actually insulates the ice and prevents it from freezing as quick as it could. So, I'm going to take this blower and blow myself a strip. I'll be danged if I can't rip that triple at least a couple of times up and down the shore this weekend. So, I'm going to blow off this ice. It's going to take me about 14 hours. And then uh, it's supposed to hit the teens tonight. So, hopefully, it freezes just enough for, you know, four, maybe even five inches of ice. And uh, we'll rip it tomorrow. It's probably gonna take me a while. Okay, so as you can see, my blower idea did absolutely friggin' nothing. I got about 25 feet done, only about 775 more feet to go, but uh, we've got another bright idea, so we're gonna try this quickly. Two brooms at once, double trouble. Okay, we're getting somewhere. It took me about 10 to 12 minutes to do this much, so I only have to do it about six more times. Okay, been at it for about an hour and a half now. You guys thought I was joking. About 350 feet in, got another 350 to go. We're almost done with our drag strip, believe it or not, all by hand. <laughs> Following day, it is Saturday, January 6th. Uh, was very pleased leaving off where I did on that drag strip we're building. You guys heard, you know, I, I know I still sound stuffy right now, but after doing that and getting a little bit of exercise, I was starting to feel better. And then I came home and I had one rough night. I am on about one and a half hours of sleep right now because after I got home and was feeling okay, tried to lay down for bed. And of course, I got an ear infection. Who the heck gets an ear infection at 29 years old? We are heading up there shortly to keep working on this strip and uh, to have some fun with the triple today. I've been dying to get it out on the ice. And, uh, the, you know, the biggest wow factor with triples is the sound of them. And I can't hear them. So, you know what? We'll make a video for you guys so you can hear it. It is one of those now or never scenarios because we're supposed to get like four to six inches of snow uh, from the storm coming up tomorrow and uh, would absolutely defeat the whole purpose. So the stuff we do for YouTube, man, we are, let's go. I did the fun stuff first before we go and work on the strip some more. Got the cameras hooked up. Look at this thing. This thing's wired up like Fort Knox gonna siphon this old fuel out of it because it's been sitting in there for like 40 50 days probably not a big deal i just like to be over cautious when it comes to this thing i want it to last forever it's my cherry baby dang it while well, i'm doing work tony beat me as the first one on the shore ice this year <laughs> and just like that that's all it took nope i don't even care anymore let's go ride the slide now even Marky broke out the riot, so I'm the last one on the ice. Second pull, not too bad. Before we get too deep into these triple clips here, guys, I know most of y'all are mechanic gearheads. Love to fire off the comments. Keep them coming. That's part of the reason why I do this and share this stuff with you guys, because I love to see it. Um, but yes, though, I do know that there was a clutching issue going on this day. It just surfaced. 
the day that I brought it out in the ice. Um, as I edit this video, it's about a week after these clips were taken, and I made the camera show the tag specifically to show what I'm talking about here, but you are gonna see that it's over revving a little bit, and each pass, it got the RPMs got progressively higher and higher, so something was going on in the primary clutch no big deal. Over this last week, we've already diagnosed it. What we've decided is we're going to be putting the stock primary clutch back on the sled. We know how to work on it easier, but uh, nothing crazy here. Next time you see this sled, it's going to be running absolutely perfect, and let's get into it. that one at the same time <laughs> probably should have put those down this thing is so much <laughs> fun <laughs> you go nowhere it's just spinning but it just sounds awesome when it does catch it feels good six wide it's just spinning i i am thinking this year i am gonna have to get a new track on this i mean it's 20 plus years old yeah get some new woodies i mean i don't even want to that's all we need. What? It's not going to be an expensive track. No. Trail report. We're out here. 18 inches of ice. It is absolutely mint. Happy New Year. We'll give the old girl a break for a minute and uh while we're at it let's break out the boost magoos i know it's probably coming in all flashy but that screen never gets old for me Good morning to you guys too. All right, it's time to start getting ready here. So we got about seven inches overnight. Um, it's still coming down pretty good and the forecasts say, you know, another couple possibly on the way. So gotta take advantage of it while we can. I don't like this upcoming Wednesday storm and uh, showing a lot of rain, but either way, we're just gonna start living in the moment, baby. Gotta take full advantage and we are gonna go for a little ride again. Pulling in here, but on a side note, I still can't hear out of my right ear still. Just ringing and BS. Turn on my gizmos, god darn it.
taking a little rip to breakfast here, meeting the guys, but uh, doing it all this episode, hitting the lakes, hitting the trails, just feels so good to be out here. Just want you guys to know that I have really been listening to your comments truthfully, and uh, this has been a really good trial and error time for this new camera setup that I've been running. I'm really digging it, um, but more specifically right now, talking about the audio setup that I've got running. So I've been you know, playing around with different modes. What I've come to find out is stereo mode, which is seen in these riding clips, as well as direction focus does a really good job of picking up like the talking and the voices, but it does a terrible job of picking up way too much wind and static noise. So uh, this is, just hang in there. This is gonna be the last video that you see without the wind reduction mode being on. I really wanna get back into the regular swing of things like last year, more in the moment stuff, uh, what's happening right then and there, and letting the sled speak for themselves a little bit. Getting everything tightened up and dialed in, baby. Let the snow fall. Audio nonsense or not, the show must go on and we are ripping. Awesome ride to breakfast though here, guys. Uh, you've seen this route that I've taken many times over the last couple of videos. It's kind of what we've been limited to with the way the conditions and how they've been. But uh, we got about seven to eight inches of fresh snow overnight. That's a good thing no matter how you look at it. But uh, our buddies that we met to this breakfast spot here took the inner trails and said it was quite rocky and they were scraping a little bit. To be expected though, you know, they didn't say that it was absolutely terrible, but when you get fresh snowfall, you need well over a foot when you have zero base to not scratch. But either way, we had an awesome breakfast and just feel so good to be on this sled no matter where we're going. Filled up and ready to rip, bud. Gonna take a nice ride on home. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but as I edit this, it's January 12th and big things look like they're coming. The forecast looks insane. Huge snowfall accumulation after this weekend. We made it through this past week with these crazy storms, snow and rain storms that have hit. And uh, we made it through unscathed. Still got a bunch of snow on the ground with a lot more supposedly on the way. So fingers crossed, do the dance. Going to show you guys a little bit more of this ride home. And then we are back in business, baby. a side route quickly here it's crazy how fast i made it to mexico went on one of the lakes down there and had to open it up and let her eat a little bit she gotta breathe what an awesome weekend though guys did a little bit of it all hit the lakes hit a little bit of riding in today no complaints here rode both sleds running good feeling good well i feel like death right now but that's how i'm gonna take this week Get over the sickness, and we're going to be right back at it. So, as always, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't know what's coming up next, but we'll have something cool. So, we'll see you next video. Whee!